The aim of this part of the lab is to explore the incidence of E. coli in minced beef. We will analyse beef from different supermarkets using a variety of microbiological techniques to aid the identification of microorganisms present in these samples. You are provided with a sample of minced beef weighing approximately 20 grams, in addition to a sample of pre-blended beef. These will be referred to as sample C and sample D respectively, and sample D is acting as a control. Firstly, add 180 ml of saline to sample C. And then transfer this to a blender and blend for five minutes. Please note sample D has been prepared in exactly the same way. This blended mixture represents the 10 to the minus 1 dilution as 20 grams of minced beef has been blended in 180 mils of saline. You will now transfer your blended sample C mixture to a beaker and allow this mixture to settle on the bench for two minutes. Next, you'll perform four serial tenfold dilutions for sample C. To do this, add nine mils of PBS to four universals, and these should be labeled 10 to the minus two, minus three, minus four, and minus five. Carefully transfer one mil of the blended beef mixture to the universal labeled 10 to the minus two, ensuring you avoid the foam at the top of the beaker. Mix this sample thoroughly by vortexing. This sample represents your 10 to the minus 2 dilution and is used to prepare your 10 to the minus 3 dilution using the same method as previously employed. Repeat this for the 10 to the minus 4 and minus 5 dilutions and don't forget to vortex the final sample. Remember you should be using aseptic technique throughout this. Repeat this process for sample D. By the end of this, you should have five universals for sample C and sample D. You should be able to see visual differences between each of the dilutions. You should now play 0.1 mil of your 10 to the minus one sample onto the center of an EMB agar plate. This agar is used as E. coli will appear as distinctive metallic green colonies on this medium. Carefully spread the drop across the agar as evenly as possible, using the entire surface of the plate. Do not rush this step. Try and keep the lid over the plate as much as possible to prevent contamination and once dry, invert the plates. Repeat these steps for the other sample C dilutions, remembering to vortex before removing 0.1 mils. All sample C dilutions are plated in the same way for Tripton soy agar and McConkie agar. Spread plates are prepared in the same way for sample D dilutions. All plates are then incubated at 37 degrees for 24 hours. The next day, you should inspect your plates and count the number of colonies on each plate. Remember to only count the plates that contain between 30 and 300 colonies. Designate plates fewer than 30 colonies as too few to count and plates with more than 300 colonies as too numerous to count. For TSA, you should count the total number of colonies. For the concave plates, you should count the pink colonies as these represent coliforms. For the EMBA plates, you should count the green colonies as these represent E. coli. Taking into account the dilution factors, 
calculate the total number of bacteria and total number of coliforms per gram of mince for sample C and D.